It's a beautiful Wednesday morning, and I tell you, I am glad to be back here with you uh, today. Uh, how are you doing? How have you been? Are you all doing as great as I hope? Uh, because in this season, apparently, there are so many things that are grabbing for our attention. But of course, you are the one that will decide which side of the divide you want to be. You are the one that would also decide how much you want to achieve in 2023. Don't allow the times and the seasons and the days and the hours and the minutes to just pass you by. You have to be intentional, intentionally. Plan your day, plan your week, plan your year. You know, expect great things to happen because you are not just having wishful thinking, but because you're willing to put in the work that will birth those great things for you so yes it has to be a great day it has to be a beautiful day because you and i are ready to put ourselves to work and to work smart and hard to achieve our dreams my name is tommy c adibkola and it's the bumper breakfast it's the wednesday edition of the show it's a day we dedicate to matters concerning women and youths and lifestyle so of course we're going to be discussing much of that on the show today of course um, mc Rio will be joining me quite soon on the show and I also have somebody else in the studio, but I won't tell you yet. I won't tell you yet. <laughs> I won't tell you yet about that. I, I, I take a look at the papers first of all, and then I, I'll speak to uh, the woman in the studio, the young woman in the studio this morning. All right, I have uh, four major newspapers right in front of me this morning. I have the Guardian newspaper on easy calm at cbn as officials grapple with integrity issues you have cbn dss downplay dismiss the mephiles arrest saga as speculative and officials not in dss custody apex bank insists adi you have integrity of the system completely compromised um Godwin Emefile has been in the news for quite a while over this issue between the DSS and the CBN. It is being said that some officials were arrested, but the DSS is also confirming that is just a speculation. That is a speculation. Um, yesterday, there was a tanker mishap on Oshodi Expressway and uh, a suffered brake failure, um, struggling with street urchins who wanted to extort the driver. He just suffered brake failure. Okay, so that was a gridlock on the Apapa Oshodi Expressway uh, just yesterday. And the picture story of the Guardian newspaper actually tells you all about that. Wike declares, we'll soon name our preferred presidential candidate. That's on page 29 of the Guardian newspaper. Crisis in Abia, PDP over Ikone's absence. Senate demands details of a 23.7 trillion naira CBN facility to the federal government. CNPP asked Tinubu Atiku to withdraw from presidential race over alleged misdeeds. <laughs> it gets more interesting. Okay, um, 2023, we're ready. And a chairman, uh, Yakubo, insists at Chatham House. Since everybody's going to Chatham House right now, like we spoke yesterday, um, uh, Yakubo, Mahmoud Yakubo was also at Chatham House yesterday and, of course, had a lot to say. But this one catches my attention. And I'd like to give you a bit of detail about it. Google removes 3.4 billion advertisements, ads, suspends. 5.6 million advertisers in nigeria and other places so yes uh, the, the the big story of uh, um you know the guardian newspaper this morning i think that's on business page of 15. i'd like to give you a little bit of detail about that all right so um while it hopes to release its data uh soon the 2022 data google has removed that in 20 disclosed that in 2021 it removed over 3.4 billion ads restricted over 5.7 billion and suspended over 5.6 million advertisers account now google said it also blocked or restricted ads from seven on 1.7 billion publisher pages and took broader site level enforcement action on approximately 63,000 publishers sites in Nigeria and other parts of the world. Now, those are some of the items that were taken off Google. You have, according to the tech giant, 652.1 million ads found as abuse on the network were removed. Adult content, 286.8 million. 
trademarks 136.9 million inappropriate content 125.6 million gambling and games 75.1 million healthcare and medicine 60 million others are financial services those loan apps 58.9 million copyrights 44.2 million misrepresentation 38.1 million legal requirements 33 32 6 million dangerous products and services 20.6 million alcohol 9.4 million enabling dishonest behavior 7.9 million personalized ads 2.2 million and counterfeit goods 1 million so yes contrary to what people believe that uh, google and all the, all the social media or the media the internet space is available for all kinds of untoward content you can actually report those content these many ads that were removed or advertisers or accounts that were removed were removed as a result of people reporting the uh, content as abusive as inappropriate as uh, not child friendly, as uh, inciting bad behavior, as inciting negative behavior, as being, um, you know, racist, so many things. There are so many, uh, you know, opportunities there. Copyright content are also there. Copyright infringement issues are also there for you to focus on. So yes, there are so many, so many Nigerians who have had their ads removed from the social media space so contrary to what you believe the social media space is not just available for just about anything and everyone all right the punch newspaper this morning uh, about a headline police pair presence as mfla zabuja home stares controversy cbn governor expected to repair in courts today over the 53 million dollar judgment debt police deny arrest move dss says deputy governors not quiz one billion dollars spent to recover territories seized by terrorists that's coming from president muhammadu buhari over 500,000 security personnel to man polling boats across the federation that's what uh, professor mahmoud yakubo said at the chatham house uh, conversation yesterday subsidy federal government borrowing to import fuel says uh, minister New VC promises to make unilateral solutions centered as the front page story of the Punch newspaper, the second headline story, National Assembly to OK 22.7 million debt restructuring, a trillion debt restructuring on Tuesday. Slain lawyer buried, cleric consoles the family. Uh, that's coming from uh, the story of uh, Omobolanli Rahim who was killed by that uh, policeman at Aja just about two or three weeks ago may our soul continue to rest in peace and may the family have the strength to be at the loss 13 billion drugs military hardware seized at the lagos airport uh, those are stories on the front page of the punch i quickly go to the nation newspaper this morning article plans uh, sale of nations assets to allies says tinubu a uh, crowd of supporters yesterday at uh, the Kwara State um, APC rally. The picture story of the Nation newspaper tells you that APC candidate urges Kwara to sustain political freedom. Uzodima Remitinubu rally Southeast Women. Senator Jones for campaigns. A Lagos lawyer Rahim buried. Why we upgraded Emmanuel Ayade College to a university, uh, that's on page 8 of the Nation newspaper, China's population drops by 850,000 in a uh, latest survey. Don't behave like Castle, Ingege tells New Union, Konoa, Buhari, Bukwara sponsors aim to be split, to, to aim was to split Nigeria. Bukwara sponsors aim was to split Nigeria. Governors to engage CBN on Naira redesign, President six Senate's confirmation for seven ICPC commissioners. INEC will succumb to security threats at Chatham House. Jakubu says no shift of polls. And lastly, we have the Nigerian Tribune this morning. INEC won't surrender to security threats uh, to conduct mock accreditation. Yakubo says insist elections will hold a shadowed ready for presidential runoff. Customs seize large military police hardware at Lagos Airport. No cause for alarm. Akarida Lukler's air on state of health. Kidnappers seized three persons who took six million naira ransom to free or shoot victims demand additional 
24 million naira. This is quite interesting. Kidnappers even seize the people that went to go deliver the money. Right, Nigerians must be mobilized for productivity. That's coming from Marek Beshola. Youths protest the killing of Catholic priests in Niger Burn Police Station. And people using religion for political ends. Uh, that's coming from President Mamadou Buhari. Article pledges to exploit uh, AKT human capital. We will restore happiness to Nigeria. If I Yukoa says we are celebrating freedom. Tinubu says in Kwara vows to fight corruption. Buhari Awolawa Dusumu Adebanjo others celebrate Anyoku at 90. And federal government gives a uh, Konwa. Namda, full powers to operate as trade unions, want new unions not to behave like ASU. We are in court. No comment for now. That's coming from ASU. Premier Hotel shut down staff laid off. Wow. Premier Hotel is one of the hotels in Imbado, one of the biggest ones, and one of the earliest hotels in Imbado. Shut down and the staff laid off. And the picture story of the Nigerian Tribune just shows the casket of the slain um, Lagos lawyer, Mobalan Le Rahim, the husband and the daughter. This is so sad. I mean, it gives me goosebumps. May I so continue to rest in peace. All right, we take a break. There are so many stories we'd like to share with you this morning. But I'll do that after this break. Papa, mama, brother, sister This Lagos must work for all of us Everybody da fuweko Oh yes, Lagos people Papa, mama, sister, brother, auntie Plus including uncle them Better don't land for Lagos State Gidiba Money will be for Lagos State Then go use them for Lagos State Well, no more Baba Sope Then no go chop Lagos State money Nobody go pocket Lagos State Then go take them build Lagos State Build road, build hospital, build houses And now only one man fit do this job He name now Abdulaziz Olajide Adediron Janto. He can carry one of Bunga person as a deputy governor. Her name na Funka Kindele. My people, what will they wait for? Make we vote for light, vote for change. Nobody can change where they vote before. This one na the original change. Hmm, how am Mumu done do? Pay the pay. Everybody got full echo. and in Samsi on the biggest roof together. Big Brother Titan starts on Sunday, 15th of January on DSTV 198, Go TV 29 and Africa Magic. Headline sponsor, Bamboo, Flutterwave and Lotus Star. Shell and Nibolo, Menelet and I go party, I wouldn't go to go to go to the go to the go to the the go to the shell, go to the go to the go to the go to the the go to the go to the go to the 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 go to the the to the you know, as they happen now, as they shell, we go to dish them out for this kind of bonga economy. MITV, and you tell me, let go to a jury. I don't, I don't buy any toy or two or two by law joy. I took the ballet cassa grass economy. Kalima for you to never get out about it. Data by ye, oh my shaking, come on, silly wear it. Economy waiting, they shell it. 
waiting day. And my graduate, you can eat automatic idea. Look at it. Waiting day.
I'm a bash, it's a witch. Arizy, Mr. Somori. Let me check in the leg bar. Eh, go do it to party. In the big bar, ooh, lift me up. Let me check in the leg bar. Eh, go do it to party. In the big bar, after you and you, I only look in my bag. Nobody, yeah, in the shade. Nobody, but me don't to be. Nobody, after you and you, I only look in my bag. Now I they give and praise you, yeah. I don't check out. Now you open the way for the boy. Only keep my shape, bro.